Hey there, uh, this is Mike from Macromedia. Um, a while ago, I had done a video about uh, adding a live component guide to the Acromedia corporate website. Um, here it is up on the screen. And what the idea of this was or is, is to create a whole bunch of different reusable components um, that we can then use to uh, build out um, content pages um, quickly and easily basically just by uh, viewing this live component guide um, we can see what type of components are available and then we can see what best fits the content that we want to add into the site and then just piece the the page together um, it's worked out pretty well we've uh, been using it now for a while and uh, so far it's uh, it's actually working out great um, but we had some requests on um, adding these types of components for Drupal 8 because this site here, our corporate site, is currently running in Drupal 7 and so people wanted to see it in Drupal 8. Um, while uh, this was being built, um, or in tandem when this was being built, um, another uh, developer at Acromedia, Clay, um, was adding these components or similar components to uh, an internal Drupal 8 framework that we use when we're starting new projects. Um, so now we have our Urban Hipster Drupal Commerce demo site. Um, and I've just finished moving those components um, into this demo site. So I just wanted to do a follow up video uh, showing a Drupal 8 version. Um, so you can see this live component guide at commerceplus.acromedia.com slash live component guide. Um, if you go to just the base website, commerceplus.acromedia.com, and you scroll down to the footer, um, you can see there's a live component guide link here as well. Um, so another way to get to it. Um, so just to kind of show you some of the components that are in here, um, we have a standard content component that's just a block of uh, text, it's a WYSIWYG editor, so you can put images and whatever you want in there. Uh, then we have images plus content. So here's a couple examples of images and content. Um, and you can also embed web forms and things like that. Um, one thing that's interesting about this particular um, set of components, um, in the live component guide for the Acromedia corporate site, um, we have a pretty standard color scheme that we use, so we didn't we don't really allow for too much flexibility there. Uh, whereas with these components, um, you can actually set the background color and the text color that's going to be used in each block. So in this case, you can see that the color is matched to the image. Um, you can do things like that. Um, so we've got some tabs, uh, as well as some vertical tabs, which is new uh, in comparison to the Acromedia version. Uh, we've got an accordion. So good for like FAQs and things like that. Uh, we've got a variety of different straps. Uh, so here we have just kind of a default um, basic strap. And again, this background color and the text color can be changed per strap in the back end. Um, you can also add images or whatever. This is just a WYSIWYG editor that's adding in that text. Um, we have a strap that has uh, content columns. And so this one will take however many columns you add and split it up into um, equal, uh, equal spaced uh, columns with content in it. Um, then we also have uh, an image strap. So this would be an image that's positioned left or right and then content on the opposite side. Uh, then we have a call to action strap. So this just allows you to add an image and then add some text and uh, link the whole thing to uh, uh, a URL. Um, then we have, uh, lastly, I believe here, we have just a bunch of different types of carousels. So here's a content carousel. You can just add um, content like that so you can scroll through it. Um, a rich media slider, kind of just a basic one, um, as well as a logo slider, just another fairly common piece of functionality. So all of these pieces are bundled into um, uh, a package on this demo site. Um, you can actually log in with demo admin as the username and password to this site. 
um, which gives you access. You can see how they're configured and you can play around with them if you want. Um, if I jump over here to a version or just a window here where I'm logged in, um, the two places you'll find these components are if you go to content, um, add content and landing page. That's what we're looking at right now. Uh, landing page is just basically a full width uh, page where you can just add only these components. Um, but then we also have it worked into our standard, um, like a standard content uh, page, just a regular page. Uh, so for instance, if I go to the contact us page and I edit this. So here we have just a, a body area for some text, but then underneath that body area, we have our body components. And so in here, I've got uh, a web form component that lets me to add some intro, intro text and then choose the web form that I want to use. So that's how that web form is being added in. It's just through that component. And then you can also see here that here's uh, a list of how you would add the components. So by default, it says add standard component. But you can hit this drop down and you can see all of the different components that are available to add. And you just, uh, just select the one that you want to use. Um, or might as well, I'll show you quickly just what some of these look like on that landing page. All right, so if I edit this live component guide page, so you can see all the components that are being used, all stacked. Um, so quite a few components make up this page, obviously, because it's showing examples of all of them. Um, but so for these, uh, let's look at an image strap. I like that one. So here's the image strap. If I edit that, you can see in the information. So here's the text color, the background color, uh, the image, whether it's aligned left or the right, and uh, then the strap content. And we've got a standard uh, content component uh, within the component or the content area of that strap, as well as a couple buttons. So if I go back and just to look at what that component looks like. Uh, so here it is right here. Um, I'll show you just quickly uh, changing the color, how that works. So if I go back in and edit this, and I go to the uh, image strap and edit that again. So text color, background color, if we want to make that maybe a dark background, maybe using a dark, kind of a grayish blue, something like that. And then we can change the text color. Maybe we'll just make it just uh, slightly off white here. Like so. And uh, let's move the image over to the right instead of the left, just, just because. And if I save that. And now uh, scroll down here. There we go. So we got the image to the right. I've got that blue background with the light text. So pretty easy to use. Um, the D8 version of paragraphs does seem to be a fair bit, uh, quite a bit quicker to use. Like things like when you're editing and adding stuff, it seems to everything seems to load a little bit quicker, um, and it's a little bit of a cleaner interface too, which is quite nice. So anyway, that's just a quick update on this. Again, you can look at uh, commerceplus.acromedia.com/live-component-guide uh, to view this page, and uh, if you want to see the Acromedia's uh, corporate uh, component guide just to compare. Um, that's acromedia.com slash live component guide. And there you can see all of the different components that we have built on that site. Thank you for watching.